Okay, I'm setting up the rod clearances on uh, Philby's long rod truck motor. Uh, we got some mono rods here, and I'm playing with the bore, the bore size to match my crank. You can see my crank is a little scattered. These are within two tenths, and that's within one tenth, and this is a little big. Um, so I worked the ones that seemed like they would fall right in with no work, which would have been five, one, and two. Uh, number six is already at the small side of spec, and I'm not going to mess with that because two and a half thousand is pretty good. Uh, but number three and number four, we're going to be tight. So what I did is I took the rod and I measured it out of the box. And here's another rod that I'm going to measure. And that's the size out of the box. The black tick is the minimum spec, so it's pretty close to 2.3738. Okay, and of course I know it's round. Good quality stuff from Walmart. Here's the actual rod down here that I'm using. I've honed it, and I took a few tenths out of it. And you can see it's about three tenths from the high side of spec. So what that's gonna do uh, is that's gonna lessen the crush uh, on the bearing, and that's gonna give me more bearing clearance. So hopefully this bearing will fall in where the other one did. Let's see what we get. All right, so I got it uh, torqued, measured, and everything, and it came out at 16 ten thousandths. And it's probably going to be hard to do or almost impossible to do with the phone here. But you put the dial bore, and a gauge, dial bore gauge in there, bore, and you measure your point of deflection. There you go, 16 ten thousandths. So 16 plus 3 is 19 ten thousandths, so almost two thousandths. Um, if I wanted to, I could play with my bearing clearances by moving my my rods around to different journals on the crank since this is a fresh build. Um, they are numbered, but that really doesn't mean anything at this point. Um, they are interchangeable. Um, so that's how you set up the rod clearance. Um, that's how you play with the bore size to change your bearing clearance. You can also play with your bearing size if you have a standard crank. If you have a standard crank, you can swap between standard bearings and one unders. Uh, sometimes you can find some HXs, and sometimes just swapping different bearings uh, between manufacturers will yield you a few tenths one way or the other. Um, but this is what makes an engine builder versus an engine assembler. And this is Phil B's long rod stroker motor, and the bottom end has now been blueprinted.